With the current craze over NFT crypto art, everyone is trying to get in on the action. That goes for both the artists, who are trying to sell their work as non-fungible tokens, as well as collectors and speculative buyers swooping them up on marketplaces. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply to sell your art as an NFT on the super rare marketplace. Most importantly, I'll give you tips to improve your chances of being accepted to the platform. Full disclosure, I am still in the application process now and have not been approved. Everything I'm covering, I have learned about from going through the process, doing my own research, and forum discussions discussions with artists who have been approved. There are a number of marketplaces where you can sell crypto art. They each operate differently. On some markets, anyone can list their art within just a few minutes. In a recent video, I covered the basics of what non-fungible tokens, or better known as NFTs are, and I showed the step-by-step -step process of how to upload artwork on the popular marketplace Rarible, where anyone can create and list NFTs. I'll put a link to that video in the description. That is a good video to start with, but if you plan on later looking to be on one of the more exclusive platforms, keep watching this video because there are things to think about. So anyone can upload their art to Rarible, but if you look at what's on the marketplace there, you see it's crowded with low quality tokens. Many people are uploading junk and it makes it hard for quality pieces to be found. That's why some marketplaces vet their artists and require an approval process before allowing them to list. This allows buyers to see high quality curated content. Nifty Gateway and Super Rare are more exclusive marketplaces, and I can pretty much guarantee that getting onto one of these markets will make an artist far more likely to sell their work at a decent price. Let's first look at what you are actually allowed to list on Super Rare. Unlike Rarible, Super Rare only allows one of one pieces on their platform, so you're not allowed to create multiple copies of a single piece. Super Rare also does not allow you to list an NFT if the same artwork is listed on another NFT marketplace. This is because Super Rare is interested in maintaining the scarcity of your digital work to keep the value of it higher. As an artist, this is also something you should be interested in. If you are hoping to be approved to list on Super Rare, but are using another site like Rarible, consider saving some of your better pieces for Super Rare. I'll cover this more when we get to the application process. On Super Rare, you may only tokenize digitally created content. Some artists choose to add perks for their buyers, such as a promise to deliver a physical copy of their artwork upon purchase, but that is entirely on the individual. The NFT itself must be digitally created art. This should be obvious, but to mint a token on Super Rare, you cannot violate copyright law. Any piece you tokenize must be be original, authorized, and non-infringing work. You will be booted off the site if you violate copyrights. There's enough to talk about when it comes to copyrights for an entirely different video, but in short, only upload your own work. This goes for every NFT marketplace. How to apply. Now let's get into how to apply to sell art on Super Rare. As of March 2021, Super Rare states it is still in the early access stage and that only a small number of artists are now being approved. Super Rare also says that it does plan to significantly expand on the number of people allowed on the platform in the near future. Based off forums I follow, it does seem like more people are being accepted now than they were just a few months ago. Go to superrare.co, find the Super Rare Artist application form. I will put a link to this in the description as well. Enter your name and email address on the form. Place links to websites or social media pages where you display your artwork. Super Rare says the more of these you can provide, the better chances you have. Instagram, ArtStation, Facebook, Scent, and your own website are all probably good places to start. Then you will need to provide Super Rare reviewers with two additional links. The first link you must provide is to a Google Drive containing three to five original pieces of your artwork, which are not tokenized and available for sale anywhere else. Super Rare is looking for non-minted items, but with this wording, it does sound like if you have tokenized an artwork, but it isn't for sale, that might be okay. I'm not positive, but I'd avoid testing this and find three to five new pieces of work for submission if you can. Super Rare says these should be your best works and I agree with this. You're selling yourself here and you want to present your best work. Let's say you've already tokenized a piece on Rarible and now you want to submit it as part of your process. If you've sold the piece, you'd probably have to buy it back and that probably isn't going to be worth it. If you haven't sold the token on another site, you can consider burning it and then submitting it to Super Rare. I think you'd be fine doing that, but again, I'm not positive. By the way, if you don't have a Google Drive, they're free and easy to set up. Go to drive.google.com and set up a Google account. It's possible they'll accept some other file sharing services, 
but since they did specifically say Google Drive, I would recommend using one of those. The second thing you have to link to is a short introduction video of yourself. Super Rare says you can use a Google Drive or a video sharing platform like YouTube or Vimeo for this. It should be about one minute long. The instructions say to use your phone to record the video. I don't know if you absolutely have to use your phone, but again, I would follow the instructions they provide just to be sure. The video can be in any language and does not need to be translated. In the video, you need to introduce yourself, your artwork, and anything else you'd like to share. I'd think of this as a job interview and make sure you're really selling why your art will bring value to the platform. Super Rare then asks you to tell the story behind your submitted art pieces and explain why you think they should be on Super Rare. I would put some effort here to appeal to the reviewer. Try to make your story unique and different. Then you have to check a box attesting that your submitted works do not contain any infringing or unauthorized copyright material. Finally, Super Rare requires you to tell them how you heard about the site. Feel free to throw my name in that box if you'd like. Hit submit and your application is on its way. So now what? Super Rare says it can take over four weeks to review your application, but they also say they are being flooded with requests, so it's unclear how long you can expect to wait. If you are accepted, Super Rare will contact you with an invitation to join their site as an artist. My research shows Super Rare will not tell you that they have declined to accept you. Understandably, this seems to be a frustration among those who've submitted their work and haven't heard anything. If you are substantially past four weeks and haven't heard anything, you can resubmit your application. Tips for getting approved. Super Rare has graciously provided a list of tips to improve your chances of being accepted to their platform. Tip number one, be able to prove your identity as an original artist. Super Rare wants to make sure they aren't allowing copycats or imposters into the platform. This is why you must include links to your social media sites and submit the video. I would take this one step further and somehow include the fact that you have work in progress pictures or source files to back up the work you've submitted. Tip number two, promote your art on social media. Super Rare is more likely to accept artists who have actively promoted their work on social media. They note that their most successful sellers are those who continue to promote their work aggressively. Super Rare says you don't need thousands and thousands of followers and that it's the effort they are looking for. But it does appear from discussion forums that those with more followers have a better chance of being accepted. So build up those social media sites and if you don't mind, help me build up mine as well by following me on Facebook and Instagram. Tip number three, have an original, consistent style. Super Rare is looking for artists that have a consistent style. They want to see a consistent look and feel from your art. I interpret this to mean that the three to five pieces of art you submit should be similar in style and type. If you create different types of art, maybe you make super photorealistic renders, but you also do some abstract work, I recommend picking one style of your art and submit all of your pieces from that same style. Once you're accepted, I'm sure you can venture out into different areas, but Super Rare is pretty clear on their desire for a consistent style from their artists. Number four. Scarcity, scarcity, scarcity. Super Rare is trying to make sure its content is scarce, or in other words, rare. It's even in their platform's name. They want their artists to be more focused on quality rather than quantity. If you've already tokenized artwork on other platforms, that's okay, but Super Rare will look at how many you've minted versus the quality of them. If you have flooded other platforms with quick and easy tokens, this might hurt your chances. So right now, start focusing on less frequent and higher quality content on all of your sites, as well as any any NFT platforms you're on. Super Rare is more likely to accept artists with a lower number of already minted works. They also prefer to see you on fewer platforms, recommending only one or two at most. Number five, get involved in the community. Super Rare recommends following them on Twitter, Instagram, and Scent. They also encourage applicants to join their Discord chat. Having already set up a Super Rare account is recommended, and Super Rare says that if you've purchased NFTs on their platform from other artists, that can also position yourself well over other applicants. Number six, references. You can include references from well-known artists or collectors in the Super Rare community if you know any. Having a current artist or collector vouch for you may give you a step up. If anyone watching this is already on the platform and would like to vouch for me, please hit me up. Number seven, don't get discouraged. Super Rare encourages artists to continue to work on the steps already mentioned and to reapply if they are not accepted. Many of the most successful artists on Super Rare were not accepted the first time they applied. Remember you're not being passed over for personal reasons. The platforms are experiencing huge demand and Super Rare is being purposefully selective. Keep at it and if you continue to create good and consistently high quality work, promote your art on social media and get involved in their community, I'm sure you will get there. One quick thing, if you want one of the 
non-fungible t-shirts like the one I'm wearing in the thumbnail for this video, head over to blendertees.com and pick one up for 20 bucks. It helps support a small time artist, that artist being me. Thank you for watching. Give the video a like if it helped. Good luck to everyone with the NFT minting and I hope to see you on Super Rare soon. Thank you.